Right, so you obviously were a power hitting right fielder for the Yankees. They have one of those again. Oh boy. In Aaron Judge. <laughs> and there are certain guys, I mean, you commanded the spotlight. When you walked into a room, everybody knows Reggie Jackson's in the room. Now he's obviously got a six foot seven inch frame, but he also seems like he's just got star quality. Tell me your thoughts on, on Aaron Judge. You know, I, I, I will say, you know, Kenny, I want you to, you know, add to mm -hmm. this when I when I get done here. Um, but in talking to Aaron Judge um, and had a very nice conversation every time I see Aaron Judge sooner or later we're going to get into an in-depth competition conversation with the comparisons the expectations the, the, the franchise tag that he has in a different way mm -hmm. when it comes to baseball and the, the face of baseball if you will and so we, we've had these conversations already in the spring and here is a guy who, for me, I've had a conversation with him about with him about his competition or the plaques in Monument Park, mm -hmm. the competition that you have with this franchise are the great players that are here. Your competition are the, the home run hitters of the past that hit 40, 50 homers. That's your competition. It's the guys that drove in 150. And I said, because on a good year in Yankee Stadium, you're going to hit 60. On a, your best year in Yankee Stadium, you're going to drive in 150. No one's going to be surprised. All you need to do is stay healthy. Mm -hmm. Just post. Just post at the ballpark and say, I'm here to play. I, I also think the competition for him, uh, when you play for the Yankees, the competition is the championships, too. Yes. It's, 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 it's more than the individual. You, you, you make your contributions to the whole effort of winning a championship. Yes. And if those contributions lead to you being the MVP in the league, so be it. But the fact is, right. you, you right. all have this right. goal. And when you talk to Aaron Judge, he always seems to mention championships. He doesn't mention his personal goals or whatever. Exactly. He might have them in his mind. I think all players, yes. you have goals coming into spring training, but you kind of keep it to yourself. And when you get to the all-star break, you think, well, you know, maybe I'm ahead of schedule here or am I a little behind? Exactly. I better push it in the second half. Exactly. So that, that's, I think that's the type of player he is. You're exactly right. right. You can... You know, I, I was talking to him uh, a day or so ago, and we were talking. I was talking about ownership. I was talking about the general manager. I was talking about the manager with the efforts that we've had over the winter and with the efforts that the franchise, the, the Steinbrenner family, if you they're the franchise, has had about the investment in building championships. We're signing young players right now. We're making an effort for for the fans and for our teammates and players to say, man, hey, my turn's going to come sooner or later. Let me stay on my P's and Q's. Let me stay on my job. Let me stay on what I need to do. You know, mine is coming. I don't need to worry or rush. I can see how they're thinking. And that's how we feel as ex-Yankees. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a Yankee. I'm an ex-Yankee that was fortunate enough to be a fan, and I played at the same time. <laughs> it was a pretty cool deal.